<sighs> well, it's been a while. It's been two months since I've done a video and um, it's been absolutely crazy. If you've been following me on my Instagram, you've known the last couple months have been pretty hectic, but I'm back and now I'm doing this full time. So I'm super excited to be getting out content every week. And this week we're doing some smoked carnitas. So think of carnitas as a Mexican pulled pork. It's a pork shoulder that's been cooked low and slow till it's juicy and tender. And then to finish it off, it's normally fried in a lard to get a nice crispy outer that is to die for. Today I'm making my own version of it that is gonna be smoked for a few hours. And then we're gonna braise it in a mixture of peppers, bay leaf, a little bit of orange to give it a citrusy flavor. And then at the end, we're gonna fry it up. You can put it in tortillas, eat it by itself, put it in a bun and make a torta if you'd like. But however you're gonna make it, it's gonna be amazing. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with about three to four pounds of pork shoulder. I'm using a bone-in pork shoulder since that's what I have in my fridge. If you're looking to save a bit of time and effort, be on the lookout for boneless pork shoulder when you're at the butcher shop. But if you're like me and have bone-in pork shoulder, we're gonna go ahead and start by deboning it. We're gonna start off by cutting off any large portions that aren't connected to the bone first. Then using my boning knife, I'm gonna run it against the bone and take small cuts until the meat is separated. Repeat this process on both sides of the bone. You can either toss away the bone or smoke it alongside the rest of your pork. And then I'm going to go ahead and store it in the freezer for our soup stock later down the road. Next, you're going to cut your pork into two to three inch portions. Place everything on a baking sheet lined with a cooling rack. For the rev, I'm using a blend of kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper, paprika, cumin, and chili powder. I'll have a link to the exact measurements as well as any equipment I'm using in the bio if you're interested. Set your smoker to 225 Fahrenheit and let your pork slow cook for about three to four hours. For the wood, I'm using a blend of hickory, applewood, and a little cherry. After the pork has absorbed enough smoke flavor, you're going to place all the pork into a medium-sized Dutch oven along with one chopped yellow onion, four dried guajillo peppers. You can find these usually on an end cap near the international or produce section of your grocery store. One bay leaf, three cloves of garlic, two oranges just to add a little citrus to this. And about 24 ounces of chicken stock. Just enough to submerge your pork. And if chicken stock isn't your thing, feel free to use vegetable broth or even water as the liquid. Bring your smoker up to 325 Fahrenheit and let it brace for another three to four hours. If you don't wanna waste any wood or pellets during this step, you can skip the smoker at this point and place it into your oven as well. Once the pork begins to just fall apart, pull it from the smoker and bring it inside.
place all the pork back onto a cooling rack and place it in the oven at 175 Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. I'm doing this to get the meat to dry out just a little bit so that I can get a nice crust on the outside when we fry. Now don't worry, we're not going to let that braising liquid go to waste. I'm going to strain it out and use a little bit of it for now, but then I recommend using a fat separator for the rest of it. Place it in a fridge and then use it the next night to make a pasole with the leftover carnitas. Now to get the outside of these carnitas nice and crispy, I'm going to place them on this griddle that's piping hot with a little bit of olive oil. Now traditionally, I know you use lard, but that's not what we have on hand, so oil will do just fine. You can break it up a little too during this step if you want, and you'll have easier to eat carnitas. Which is perfect for tonight, I'm going to be throwing these on some street tacos with some corn tortillas heated up in butter, onion, and cilantro. And of course, we gotta throw some of that braising liquid right back in. All right, let's take a bite. <laughs> Nothing beats homemade carnitas. These are out of this world. You got the smokiness, you got the citrus, and it's so crispy on the outside, that's exactly how I like my carnitas. If you're into doing carnitas, I really recommend trying smoking them. It really puts a twist on a Mexican classic that you're gonna love. And like I said, with all the extra stock that we have left over, making leftover carnitas pozole is a no brainer. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you, and we'll see you in the next video.